Hi everyone. It is August 19, 2018. I want to thank the subscriber who brought it to my attention that Dabu just posted a video on these frequencies that you can see on the morphed composite. Now we had a big earthquake. Uh, well, they have, it first was reported as an 8.2. Now I think it's a 7.9 around the Fiji Islands. Uh, what you are seeing are magnificent frequencies that are shooting off right here. And these frequencies, they are using these frequencies as a weapon of war. So, you can also see the frequencies that come up right here and oh another spot right here which is right off the coast of Central America. Where is it? There. Um, do I have to? Maybe I do. And I will. Okay. There is one. Here is another. Here is another. And There's another one. All right, things are not, things are really uh, heating up. All I want to say is I hope that everybody has people in your life, that you have people in your life that you can trust because trust is essential when you're facing hard times and you need to rely on people. And I hope that you are already prepared to have to either evacuate quickly or prepared for perhaps losing your home due to flooding, fire, whatever. Because things really are heating up. And on a daily basis, I see more and more people going over the edge. You want to believe mainstream media, you want to believe Trump, you want to stay in that matrix and, and believe that the economy is great. And you, the, I saw an article the other day Oh, more youths are working today, and more black people have jobs, and yay, Trump, make America great again. You want to believe that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Perhaps you need hope. Even if it's false, the hope gives you, gives you, I don't know, permission to just sit back and do nothing. But our economy is in bad shape. We are still going down rapidly. And we see now the frequencies, the ultra low frequencies. I posted another video on it yesterday. We see these frequencies here. We see these earthquakes. We see the flash flooding. We see the fires. And all of this should be an indication to everybody that things are not getting better, but getting worse. So, I say, try to get your thinking clear. If it's not based in reality, try to get it into reality. And yeah, work on that spiritual core, which means getting yourself more honest 
so that people can trust you. Getting yourself out of that head that tells you and everybody else around you all you want is to be comfortable and that's all that you seek then I would say work on that and really try to become somebody who is less self-centered and more directed towards helping those around you um, if you're someone who just is waiting to die so that you can go up to heaven doing the same old same old every single day never changing then you have things that you need to work on and this work is essential. It's essential to you, for you. Yeah, we have an awful lot of people sitting around doing nothing. Christians waiting for, you know, God to make everything right again, or Jesus to come back, and oh, believing that God's in control. Yeah, okay, God's in control. God's allowing all of this to happen until I guess he just can't stand it anymore and then finally he'll step in and make everything right again more and more people are suffering so badly now <laughs> and in real life I see people who just don't even know how to respond at all to any of what's going on This fight requires change. This fight requires change. For your own spiritual health, it requires work. And yeah, what I see are an awful lot of lazy people who don't want to do a friggin' thing, just want to stay the same, getting through every day, to the point, where are they directed? What, 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 what motivates them? Their death. We've got a suicidal nation now. People just waiting to die so they can get out of here. There are people who are facing such circumstances that they don't have any other choice but to die. because circumstances got so bad that they they can't live anymore people who are comfortable don't understand that you know I, I have I've been wanting to post a video on what what took place a couple of weeks ago on SGT report Sean Q divide they try fail they will and the characterizations were quite dramatic coming out of Sean I was really surprised he claiming that people who who don't think Q is real are um, they are foaming with anger, rabid hate, voicing rabid hate, creating division, and they want to strip Americans of hope. It's an orchestrated effort, orchestrated campaign. And in this video, he includes a video in Pockets of the Future. Unfortunately, Pockets of the Future 
took down his video where he was responding to subscribers who were asking him to post on QAnon. He, like myself, getting a lot of people, what about QAnon? What about QAnon? Finally, I post a video saying, look, I believe it's a PSYOP. I can't state for fact it is, but I believe it is a PSYOP, and it's getting an awful lot of people to sit back and do nothing. It's getting an awful lot of people filled with false hope, believing that so-and-so is going to be arrested, Hillary Clinton, finally. Oh, we've got Trump in the deep state, uh, uh, in, the, in the White House, he's fighting the deep state. Sean actually went so far as to say those who, who say that Trump is a puppet, people who don't support Trump are pessimists, they're sinister, in bed with Schumer and Pelosi, and want the status quo. And as I'm listening to him, I'm thinking, you are trying to cement people in the status quo. You're so stuck in the matrix, you're pulling people into the matrix, wanting them to stay in the matrix, and you are causing the division. I, I don't know what the hell is going on here. But more and more, I'm questioning people. Trust is broken. And this video that Pockets of the Future posted, where is it? Did I take it off? No. Because the trust is broken. Trust is broken. And it's beyond repair now. And that's why I stated, you know, uh, this video, opening this video with, you know, and I'll post below to Dabu's video, that <laughs> unless you fall into a circumstance where you really need help, you're not going to understand how important trust is. And if you're somebody who has never experienced that, well, you then start lying to that person. That will put them in a worse circumstance. There are people who really need trust. But it's not until something happens that so jars you out of that comfort zone, like a fire, like a flash flood, where suddenly you are having to rely on people, you will begin to understand that trust is essential. If you are facing, well, think about soldiers in war, right? They have one another's back. They have to trust one another, that they have one another's back, because that comes down to their survival. It's about survival. But we don't have a lot of people who care about trust. And we have an awful lot of people who just say things. And they say it in a way that it's a fact and it's not a fact. And then we have an awful lot of people who follow other people, hear what they have to say, and they just think it's golden. It's the truth. So when you hear somebody like Sean at SGT report claim, that there's an orchestrated campaign, anybody who's against QAnon is part of that campaign, and they're working to strip Americans of hope. You know, hope comes from action. Action. It doesn't come from just somebody speaking words. And it doesn't come from delusion. So QAnon you get people saying that it's real. What? It, what? And Sean here has input other people saying, inputted into this, embedded in this video, other people saying um, anybody who doesn't believe that QAnon is real doesn't have a working brain cell. And the evidence is what she has cited as evidence, all you have to do is go on these QAnon sites to see that it's real. 
Why? Because QAnon, who is what? An insider, a government insider, uh, or a, a military insider, a high up at a high level with Q security clearance. They drop clues. He, she, or they drop clues. And then, like a game, like children, they're playing Clue. Oh, let's decipher this Clue. The deciphering leads to an event that will happen, and the event happens, and boom, it's real. That's not evidence of it not being a PSYOP. And we are living a time, <laughs> we all know, that psychological warfare, wow, it's exploded. Propaganda made legal upon the American people. We can use propaganda against the American people. It's legal now. And these people are not stepping back and even questioning whether or not this is a PSYOP. Are they talking about what happens after that list, that long list of people who are going to be arrested, the indictment sealed? Oh, and then when they get you know, the impatient QAnon followers, what did they say? Oh, just be patient, just be patient. It, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, all right, let's say people do get arrested. So what? What's going to happen? You think Agenda 2030 is just going to disappear? Do you think the depopulation agenda is just going to disappear? Do you think Trump is then going to say, Roll back 5G. It's no longer a national security. A national security uh, issue, whatever. You think the fires are going to stop? You think the climate change, global warming law is just going to end? You think the deep state is just going to, they're just going to fall down, all of them, and die? You think everything's going to be rosy then? You know, Sean in here says, QAnon has, um, oh, what did he say? Something about tens of thousands. I don't think, <laughs> you know, the dr drama. You know, he starts the video with drama. He's, in this video certainly, very dramatic in what he proclaims. Q has brought tens of thousands together with a sharp focus on the New World Order criminals. And the result is tremendously positive. I would say the result has been tremendously negative. Why? Because it allows people to sit back. It fills them with this false hope that something's going to be happening. Oh, and it's going to be big. And filled with soft, false hope, they get to go and live exactly how they've been living, never changing, never doing anything to fight all of these agendas. It's like the Christians. It's prophesized in the Bible. And therefore, because it's prophesized, I don't have to do anything. I can sit back and just wait to die to go to heaven. Because God's going to come and bring everything right again. He's going to make everything right again because he's in control. Trump is going to make America great again. <laughs> but Carol, haven't you seen? So many people are back at work. You know we have a lying government, mainstream media. How could you possibly believe that? We're turning robotic. There are so many obviouses that go over people's heads. Because they read a headline, it gives them hope, and they don't want to hear anything else. This has given me hope, and that's it. That's all I want. You don't want to look at what is taking place. This country is going down. Our economy has been artificially propped up for a very, very long time. Nothing is real. And we have more and more Americans filing for bankruptcy, the elderly filing bankruptcy, losing their homes, going homeless. 
we have more school children who are homeless. We have so many people now who are suffering the consequences of having their homes condemned due to the flash flooding. So many people losing their homes due to the fires. Um, we have so much going on. People dying. The poisons continue to be sprayed upon us. We continue to drink the poisons. We continue to eat the poisons. You know, this idea that those who think Trump is a puppet, well, we're in bed with Schumer and Pelosi. We want the status quo. <laughs> You're in the status quo. And that's, you, you, you're so focused on Trump and you want to claim that people should be applauding Trump. You know, if all he has done, what has he done? What has he done? Oh, that wall. Well, has it even begun to be constructed? Do you know how long that wall has been an issue since Reagan? Reagan had uh, given amnesty to three million illegal immigrants and it was under Reagan that the 14 miles of uh, fence was constructed along the San Diego border. 14 miles of, what is it, over 2,000? That was back in the early 80s. In the 90s, during the Clinton years, there was a new law that was passed giving funding for the second layer. Um, <laughs> the wall, 60 miles. 10, 60 miles of fencing. And that was finally done after 2000, the year 2000. And the mid-2000s, it was Congress that approved the Secure Fence Act mandating 700 miles of fencing. I mean, this wall has been an issue, but it's never, the all our problems, we never get them resolved. So Trump comes along, we're going to build a wall. Yay! Yay! I'm so happy. Mexico is going to pay for it. Oh, sorry. You're going to pay for it. He claimed that it was going to be built um, ahead of schedule. He is Mr. I love eminent domain. He doesn't realize that there's going to be a lot of lawsuits from all of those private property owners where that fence is going to be laid. I mean, it was at, I think it was after, oh, I don't, I can't remember exactly, but maybe after 2006, it was the 700 miles that was supposed to be built. There was a seven year delay. No, it must have been the earlier one, 1996. Seven year delay because of lawsuits. So he's lying. But we're supposed to support him. He came in lying. He was lying during the campaign. Clinton, Clinton, Clinton. They need to be investigated. They're criminals. They're this. They're that. Oh, first, first interview he gives with, I think, Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes. Oh, the Clintons are, are good people. The Clintons are good people. You heard it. It was right in your face. Liars are not good people. It, that's just a fact. Um, and then North Korea. Oh, proof that Trump is real. He's the one who got peace with North Korea. Really? And I think a lot of the same people who claim you know, oh my God, North Korea. A lot of these same people were claiming that North Korea is a CIA state. 
We're watching a friggin' show. Everything is a show. Psychological warfare. What they want you to know, they reveal. What they don't want you to know, they don't reveal. What they want you to get all caught up in, they put it out. QAnon. Q. Who the hell is Q? I don't know. He's putting out Q clues. Oh my God. Trump. He's fighting the deep state. It's an insider. He knows. And the events that come true, not every event has come true, but most have. Oh, it's real. It's not psychological warfare. It's not put out there to give false hope. It's not put out there to get people so stuck in the matrix, believing that these people are going to be arrested, that they sit back and do nothing. What do you think is the objective of evil people? Their main objective is that you don't fight them. You just allow them to do whatever the hell they want to do. Wow. So a lot of people are waking up. Let's do the QAnon. You know, <laughs> there are a lot of things that they put out as proof. You know, oh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, her IT guy, her IT aide. What was his name? Imran Awan. The arrest of Imran, Imran Awan. Well, his people were upset because his plea deal, he just plead, pled guilty on a far lesser charge than the charges like compromising national security. I think he pled guilty to bank fraud. I'm not really remembering because I'm not paying much attention anymore to mainstream media matrix news because it's all put out there to distract you from what is really going on. And I see channels out there so focused and so stuck in the matrix that I do have to wonder what are they doing, especially when they come out claiming other people are being divisive when it's them? Pockets of the future embedded in SGT reports video. He claims, I guess, the pockets of the future who posted that video, who posted a video on QAnon, and he made a lot of valid points. Did Sean include in his video, the valid points that Pockets of the Future made? No. What he did was post when Pockets of the Future was cursing. That's it. That's your proof, Sean? That he's part of this orchestrated campaign to, to strip Americans of their hope? I never thought that I would see this with Sean, but he's talking about me too. I don't support Trump. I'm not a follower of QAnon. I do think it's a psyop. To get people to do nothing, which apparently a whole lot of QAnon channels are doing. So this deal that Imran Awan made, he pled guilty to bank fraud, and a lot of QAnoners were upset because it didn't take down Debbie Wasserman Schultz and others in Congress. It upset them that he pled guilty to such a lesser charge. So to get those QAnoners back into the fold, I can't believe what I'm hearing.
but a lot of people are saying that he sang like a bird, even Sean. He sang like a bird. Um, then other people are meaning that he divulged an awful lot of information about all of these people who I guess are part on the list of those who are going to be arrested. He sang like a bird. Well, how do you know that, Sean? Because I looked all over for evidence that he sang like a bird, and I didn't hear even one tune of one bird. So why are you saying that? What's your evidence that you failed to provide? So to reel them back in into that Q fold, they're also claiming that Awan not only sang like a bird, but that he couldn't be tried in a DC federal court, but that he would be tried again in some other court, like a military tribunal or something like that. Really? His plea deal states that he cannot be prosecuted for any nonviolent uh, criminal offense in violation of federal or DC law. So any prosecutor who tries to retry him on the same offenses, they're staring at double jeopardy and there's no way around it. But there are some who are saying, oh, they think that there is some uh, procedural law where a federal prosecutor can, I don't know, override a plea deal? I don't know where these people are getting their information, but I will tell you, no evidence is provided. So when you are coming out attacking other people for what they think QAnon is, you're the ones who are creating the division, not those who are stating their opinion. You know, my subscribers, I know you can believe or not believe QAnon. What I want to see is you taking action in your area to fight these agendas. Because that is the only real hope that anybody can have. You don't get any hope from anybody sitting back doing nothing, believing in something that may or may not be real, but the end point What's going to happen? Nothing. The other, you know, um, reasons why Trump is real and fighting the deep state, you know, he's... I, my God. And I think it was Sean. He got the CIA out of Syria. Wow. And there are articles about that. You believe mainstream media writing the CIA is out of Syria? You believe that? Well, then I would say that you are someone who is allowing confirmation bias to operate. Like you need support of beliefs that are not necessarily true, but you just need that to sit back and believe that everything is hunky-dory. Look at Trump. Oh my God. He got the CIA out of Syria. We're in Syria indefinitely. And you really think that Trump, first of all, magically turned this economy around in, well, he was already applauding himself before the first year. He magically did it. And he's so fighting the deep state, he was able to get the CIA out of Syria. Scary the way people think. Um, also said ISIS is destroyed. Really? ISIS is not destroyed. And 
the dramatic voicing of a global rebellion. The globalists are failing. Cited as proof, some countries in Europe resisting the EU demands. And the New World Order criminals will be arrested. The list of indictments are growing. they are sealed indictments. And always, to those impatient Q followers, don't worry. They're tying it all together, wrapping things up. And then he even claimed that the critics of Q are not innocent. Not innocent. Who is causing the division? And then, you know, he says things like, I'll leave it to you to decide who's walking the high road. Are you, Sean? Really? Because this video alone has really left me questioning you. Am I causing division by posting this video? Well, I'm sure a lot of people will think that. But when I see people going after other people, claiming that they're foaming with anger, they're voicing rabid hate, they're in bed with Schumer and Pelosi, they're part of an orchestrated campaign, all lies, all lies. What I heard in Pockets of the Future's video when he came out with his video on QAnon, which he has taken down. And I wonder if he took it down because he probably was getting a lot of flack. I don't know, so that's just my guess. But I got a lot of flack when I posted my video just saying, look, the bottom line is whether QAnon is real or not, it doesn't it doesn't give you permission to just sit back and do nothing. These agendas will not just suddenly die if people get arrested. And there is so much information out there that, well, when Trump and his connections with the Clintons, and his connections with George Soros, and his connections with the Rothschilds, and his connections with the Rockefellers, and his um, connections with Nikola Tesla, his uncle, he's the one who was sent in to review Tesla's papers, John Trump, who said to Donald, the world will be a scary place. And that had to do with the technology. That had to do with, no doubt, what he reviewed. The frequencies, the, the scalar frequencies. The world will be a scary place. You don't think Donald knows about 5G? And he making it a national security priority? And he making it easier for the telecommunications industry to get those 5G cells out there, the infrastructure, lay it down. <clears throat> I don't know what to say, but what I'm hearing from a lot of channels now, channels that claim that anybody who is not proclaiming Jesus as their savior and that he died on the cross for our sins in every video or at least in virtually every video they're not legitimate wow talk about creating division what I heard from Fullerton Informer I will tell you huh. um, 
something is very wrong here. And it does seem that an awful lot of Christians are into creating division. Deborah Tavares, according to the Bulletin Informer, works for NASA. And because he's born again, he knows how you're going to die. Not Deborah Tavares. He knows how you're going to die. You're not going to die from, and I'm not um, quoting him verbatim, but essentially he claims that Deborah Tavares is a fear mongerer. Uh, she, she wants to scare you to death. And she works for NASA because she reads or works off of these NASA documents exposing NASA. And you're not going to die from a tsunami that hits the East Coast or a volcanic eruption. You, you tell people in Hawaii that bulletin informer. But he knows the truth on how you're going to die, so you listen to him because he proudly proclaims that Jesus is his Savior. And anybody who doesn't, they're working for the wrong side. I am so tired of Christians creating this kind of division, thinking, well, what they believe, and it's a belief, it's not a fact, but what they believe, they're right and everyone else is wrong. And if you don't proclaim Jesus as your savior, well, what? You're working for the other side. You're not legitimate. You're a deceiver. It's really sad. The condition of the American people. And you can really see it on social media. I'm not saying my condition is fabulous and wonderful, no. But I am saying that people aren't even aware of what they're doing if they are not purposely doing what they're doing. And when I hear these kinds of things, and this guy claiming because she's working off of NASA documents, that means she's working for NASA, and then you read the comments and you go, okay, people can't think, and they do follow people like the sleeping sheeple who follow mainstream media and don't think for themselves. We've got an awful lot of people who are quote unquote awake who follow people and don't think for themselves. If you can't catch, you know, people making their presumptions and stating them as fact, if you don't know nuance, if you can't catch nuance, and if you are somebody so arrogant to believe that your belief is the only belief to have. And you are so arrogant to say, I know how people will die. No one else does. I know. If you can't catch all of that stuff, then you're not going to catch who you're following. Somebody who has issues. Even if they're deliberately trying to mislead you in a wrong direction creating division themselves. You know, if you can't catch that, you'll be part of all of it. And, you know, trust is broken. Sean of SGT report helped to break the trust. Fullerton Informer helped to break the trust. That's what I'm so upset about. Now, you can support Trump. And we can even have conversations about it. And I've gone to, to a point with a subscriber and, and I'm hearing what she's saying. And then I say, oh, do you, you don't want your hope shattered or, you know, I, but these are people who are rational, and these are people who can actually hear someone have a different opinion without claiming that they are sinister 
foaming with anger. And there's a lot of people I just can't talk to because they don't have the strength within themselves to hear a different opinion. They don't have the strength within themselves to take any action, even if it's in their own best interest. I know a lot of people who have property, they know about Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. They know what's happening. They sit back and do nothing. You know, Trump, if he wanted to make America great again, what are some things that he could have done? Well, fulfill the campaign promises like get rid of Common Core. Oh, that's off the table. Get rid of the mandatory vaccinations and establish that vaccine safety commission. That's off the table. How about restore Glass Steagall and get that, you know, that Wall Street and the banking thing right? But he hasn't done that. How about stopping those unnecessary wars? He hasn't done that. How about restore the Smith Month Monk Act, the um, codifying of propaganda as legal? Well, the Smith Month Act actually made it illegal, but restore it. But no, I'm just going to continually talk about how. Mainstream media, CNN, they're all fake news, fake news, but I'm not going to restore the Smith Month Act. How about try to work on destroying the two tiered legal system? Um, oh, he's a great chess player, and that's why nobody's been arrested yet. How about following the Constitution and when people do something illegal, they, they, they get arrested? How about defunding the military and the military industrial complex and putting that money towards helping Americans who are suffering? How about banning GMOs, geoengineering? taking Wi-Fi out of public schools, backtracking on the 5G installations all over the place. Um, how about getting rid of regulations that are actually hurting Americans instead of getting rid of the regulations that protect Americans? How about appointing people outside the swamp instead of appointing the swamp, which he has done. You look at the heads of these federal agencies, and everyone that I've checked out are implementing Agenda 2030 for the United Nations. How about not aligning with Goldman Sachs? Oh, how about defunding Israel Stop giving more money to the military industrial complex. There's a lot of ways in which you can make America great again, but Trump doesn't seem to want to follow those ways. You are stuck in a show. And we have been on Trump, Mueller, um, these arrests, Russia, collusion, even before Trump was inaugurated, we're still there. QAnon still talking about arrests. Come on, guys, please. I am not asking you to believe me. I am asking you to keep in mind that psychological warfare has really ramped up in this country and that jumping on the bandwagon 
of any of these, you know, latest and greatest trending, you know, topics or whatever, please just look at it and take in information, but recognize that you may still be fooled. You might still be fooled by yet another president. You might be part of a PSYOP, this QAnon phenomena. When you listen to people talk about global rebellion, the globalists are failing, the arrests, they're coming soon, they're this, that, and they use a rather dramatic tone with dramatic words, take a step back. Use your common sense. When you hear people claim that so-and-so is evil and working for the other side, and you hear no evidence coming out from them, you know something's wrong. Just claiming, because Deborah Javaris is not proclaiming Jesus as her savior, and she is exposing NASA documents, that means she's working for the other side. That is not evidence. That is somebody who has a very twisted way of thinking. And that needs to be looked at, but highly doubtful because, well, getting people to look at what they do and say, well, forget about that. Um, and unfortunately, that's a big piece of the puzzle. But people are happy to just just go on and do the same old, same old. as long as they're comfortable and that's all they care about. And they will use everything they can to shore up that what they are doing is good, is fine. They're a good person. And, you know, when people lie to themselves, they surround themselves with other people who lie to themselves. So you get an awful lot of support from people who are sick. But as long as you can get that support and everybody's telling you, hey, you're doing the right thing. You're, you're, you're good. That's all you need. You know, I have seen that we have a country loaded with people who were suicidal they just want to die. They want to get out of here. I understand that. But it doesn't mean that you just sit, wait for that. You just continue to work. And we've got a really lazy population. That is the truth. Lazy, narcissistic, and um, children. So they need to follow somebody. They need all of the false hope that they can get. And, you know, they need to just go and play. That will get us nowhere. So I'm not saying disbelieve in QAnon. I'm not. I'm saying the only thing that can give us hope is for people to take action. And when we see nobody taking action, there ain't no hope. Not real hope. You get false hope. So for, I could claim actually, what are the legitimate channels and what's not legitimate? I could claim that it's these people who are promoting the matrix for you to stay in it. And who never ever say, take action guys. Take action in your area. Fight like hell to, to protect your freedom. No, they don't say anything like that. 
they want to cement you in the matrix and get you to keep believing that something's going to happen somewhere down the road. Oh, and it's going to be big. Even if that something happens, we still have one hell of a big mess. Look, I... It's not fair. It's not fair. And what I saw, you know, are people who are taking their own selective few minutes of a video to prove nothing. But apparently, maybe just to prove that somebody's cursing and I'm better because I don't curse. And you completely ignore all of the valid points about QAnon that pockets of the future made. Something's very wrong here. And I really hope that people begin to think about what they do and say. Because whether they are purposely doing it and getting paid to do it or not, it doesn't matter. They're creating more and more damage. And when we have no trust, when trust has been thoroughly broken, that's when you have a really big problem. Because when the shit hits the fan, and it may not be that big shit that's going to hit the fan, it may be the shit hits the fan with you personally, you're going to need to trust. And I've said it over and over and over again. When we don't have a foundation of trust, you cannot have a healthy relationship, you cannot have a healthy community, you cannot have a healthy society. What we want to do is establish trust, rebuild it. But we can't do it when by sharing our opinion we then get attacked as being part of an orchestrated campaign. It's frightening how people think, but it is true we have been an exceedingly deeply disturbed society for well, yeah, I'm going to say it. From the beginning, we started on evil. And guess what? That evil continued. And it's breaking us now. And when we look at evil and call it good, well, that's when it just continues to spread. So we've allowed it to spread and spread and spread. And we're still allowing it to spread and spread and spread. And I think at this point, it's not repairable because I don't see very many, I don't have anybody in my real life who takes trust seriously. In fact, I have people in my life who have demonstrated over and over again, they don't care about it. But I don't see it anywhere, not even in the cyber world. It's the foundation that we can work from. When we have no foundation, we're just slip sliding away. 